Postcard. New Vistas. When I was 20 years old, writes Marita, I became a VISTA volunteer, Volunteers in Service to America, at a time when doing so required a six-week training program. Because I participated in the first class to serve on Indian reservations, my training, and then my year of service, took place in Montana. Having grown up in a working-class family and having attended a community college, I had never traveled and certainly had never been on a plane. I vividly remember both the terror and the thrill of getting off the plane and realizing I didn't know anyone within 2,000 miles. My sister told me that she never could have done such a thing because she would have been too afraid. She didn't understand how afraid I was, even though I told her. Perhaps it was back then that I learned that fear would not stop me when there was hope of something worthwhile at the other end. That experience gave me a new sense of who I was as a person. Years later, attending professional conferences all over the country was no big deal for me. I was able to get on a plane, change planes, and regroup after missing planes. I could find lost luggage and make my way to hotels in a strange place without panicking or stressing beyond the point of being able to deal with such situations. Although my family and friends have always seen me as self-confident and able to handle most anything, that was never the way I viewed myself. Just the act of traveling solo taught me I was more capable than I had believed myself to be. Pearl, what do you believe about who you are, about your capabilities? When was the last time you trusted yourself enough to test them?